I'm going to show you how to create Cosmo files uh, in different parameterization uh, for whatever compounds you're planning to calculate. So I'm using TMOLX where TurboMOL is on the back end to do geometry optimization and generate Cosmo files. So you can click this button uh, for new or file new for new jobs. So I'm just clicking this icon. So the new jobs window is open. Either you can import coordinate file, PDB, XYZ, uh, more files, or you can get it from our 3D builder, or even you can draw in 2D, convert it to smiles, or you can copy paste the smiles and convert it to 3D. So right now I am starting with uh, the 3D builder because we have some template fragments already there. So I am working. I am going to generate uh, Cosmo files for amino acids. Let's uh, so here we have building blocks. In this, you can choose amino acids, and then I'm I'm double clicking on uh, the isolution. Now the isolution is loaded. I can click on more pack here to pre-optimize before doing any sort of calculations in turbo mode, which is recommended uh, for a much faster access. So you can uh, click on uh, AM1 Cosmo, then start calculation. So this is a very quick calculation. Once it is done, uh, the geometry gets minimized and then click on close. So these coordinates will get copied to the TMOLX interface, as you can see now. We are not going through the a traditional way of assigning atomic attributes, generating molecular orbitals and choosing methods because our ultimate goal is to generate uh, Cosmo files in different parameters. So we already have AM1 SVP Cosmo. So you need to go through the templates uh, which is much more faster and multiple jobs can be combined together as a single template. So AM1 SVP, BP SVP, BPT ZVP and TZVP define. These are the four possible templates that you can use to generate the Cosmo files. So for a quick calculation, I'm doing AM1, but if you want a more accuracy, you should go with BP, TZVP define. Of course, the computing time will be more, and I would recommend to have a good computing resource to start with. But anyway, for AM1, you don't require much computing resources. It might take a few seconds or sometimes a few minutes based on the number of atoms. But BPSVP is also a good start with the DFT, but AM1 is mostly with SME and Brickle using MOPAC. Now I choose the template. Now you can see this Cosmo AM1 SVP, and then I should use the charge from the input and then apply the job template. When I apply the job template, you can see that there are two jobs generated. The first job is to and basically what we have done earlier like AM1 Cosmo using more pack and on the second uh, still uh, we are doing a single point calculation uh, using DFT BP with the uh, DEF SVP basis set so here we did not optimize the geometry with the DFT we optimized with AM1 but we are doing a single point calculation to generate the Cosmo file now here if you want you can assign number of CPUs but in this case I always recommend to go for one num one CPU or one core. So we always calculate the number of uh, physical core not the number of thread. And just uh, run local if you have a license of turbo mode. If you are running it on the cluster then you should click on run network. Now uh, when you do this you can rename it because uh, I have given ISO Luzon. So I, I give ISOL. Make sure that you press enter after renaming it. Otherwise it go it won't reflect into the file name here. And then you click on save. Now the job gets submitted and you can see in this area uh, uh, arrow will be popped up showing that the calculation is running. And also you can see in this window where the jobs are running um, the the progress of the job when you click on follow and automatically uh, the energy versus SCF iteration should come up if you are doing a geometry optimization calculations but when you do some uh, very minimal calculations like AM1 with uh, Cosmo file generations it won't be too long
Now we can see that uh, um, a graph is being generated with energy versus uh, the convergence uh, iterations and you can see uh, the energy is getting minimized on different cycles. So we are very close. Uh, once it is uh, reaching the minima, uh, it will generate the Cosmo files. So in the meantime, you can submit a new job also because if your machine is having four core CPUs uh, or four cores, then you can utilize mostly three cores for these calculations. Now you can see the output is ready. Uh, so this is a summary of the output with the energy in hatchery and uh, the dipole moment dBi is the unit. Now if you want to see the uh, Cosmo file, just click on uh, job underscore zero zero under isolution and here you can see view dot Cosmo file. So this should load a, a Cosmo file. Uh, yeah, here's here. You can see it. And this file can be loaded to Cosmo term for your further thermodynamic calculations or core crystal calculations, solubility prediction, vapor pressure, or any other kinds of calculations that can be done. Now, if you want, uh, for example, you want to uh, view the files of this uh, um, particular job, you can click on the right button on this particular job name and say view job directory. This will basically open um, a window uh, where you have um, basically uh, the files and then this will also give you access to other files like the Cosmo file which is already here as you can see job underscore zero zero dot Cosmo and also if there is any error it will tell you the error file and other files like dot out ridft dot out and molecular orbitals so these files are being generated automatically if you go to tmolex project you for you each jobs you can see all the files will be stored as per a single folder and if you are still interested to go to the raw output of the um, as, uh, the compound or the molecule that we submitted you can click on output this is where it will give you the license information and it will give you other parameters and coordinates including energy how much time it took so you can see here the wall time is 1 minute 8 seconds for isolution uh, to do AM1. Of course for TZVPD fine it will be more, it will be taking more time. So uh, for learning purpose AM1 is far enough and then you can import the Cosmo file to Cosmo Therm. And uh, this was a short uh, demonstration on how to generate a Cosmo file using templates. And thanks for watching.